Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about turtles and keeping pet turtles and just a little information about them that you should know before you get a pet turtle. Uh, let me show you my four turtles right here. In here we have a Texas map. This is an Asian Reeves turtle. This is an Eastern painted turtle, little guy in there. And this is a Razorback musk. And as you can tell, he looks pretty pretty. I really like him. His skin is kind of a off-white color instead of a dark brown or black, like the normal musk. Really pretty turtle. Uh, I really like how the Texas map also looks, the guy in that corner. Uh, but let me tell you a few very important facts about turtles. One of the most important things about turtles... Oh, we're losing focus. One of the most important things about turtles is... Male turtles stay a lot smaller than female turtles. Take uh, my Eastern Painted here as an example. He's a male, and the largest he'll get is about six inches. The female turtles, Eastern Painted turtles, can get almost twice as large, nine to 12 inches sometimes. So the general rule for turtles is for every inch of shell they have, you should have 10 gallons of tank. So if you've got a 6 inch turtle when they're an adult, you'd want a 60 gallon tank. That's the general rule. Now, if you've got a female that gets to 12 inches, you know, that's a 120 gallon tank. That's a lot bigger. And this goes back to one of my most important things. Red-eared slider turtles. They're great turtles. Lots of people own them. They make great pets. But they are a larger sized turtle. They are very, very common, and they're pretty inexpensive and they're available in almost all pet shops. And that's why uh, lots of people buy them. However, they are pretty large turtles, so you're going to need a very large tank for them. Now I'm going to be talking about my turtles today, all of which stay six inches or smaller. So they can stay in a lot smaller tank, and like I said, all of mine, I didn't say this yet, but all of mine are males. Remember again that in almost every species of turtle, the females can get almost twice as large as the males. So you're going to want to get a male turtle if you're trying to keep them in a smaller tank and keep the size of the turtle down. Uh, I'll go ahead and show my turtles a little bit more here. See if we can get the focus to work. There we go. So like I said, this is an Eastern Painted. Uh, I've got three basking turtles. I'll go over them first. He's a basking turtle. And what basking means is they need a place to get out of the water <coughs> to completely dry off and they'll sit in the UVB lamp and the heat lamp to uh, dry off and uh, that's very important for them. They need to be able to get completely out of water. Your basking area has to be completely dry on the top of it. And the reason being, they need to completely dry out so that no mold or mildew can grow within their shell. So it's very important to have a basking area for basking turtles. And the majority of turtles are basking turtles. Red-eared sliders, map turtles, painted turtles, Reeves turtles. Um, the majority of turtles are basking turtles. One of the exceptions are razorback musks, or any musk really. They never come out of the water, almost never. I've actually never seen my razorback musk out of the water. He's always down in the bottom of the tank. They're one of the few turtles that are sold as pets that are not basking turtles. I think some soft-shell turtles also are, bas are not basking turtles. But soft-shell turtles get very large. Most of them can get over a foot, some over two feet, some even larger. So be careful if you see a baby uh, soft-shell, don't just buy it. Research it, see how big they can get, because some of them, my focus is going weird, some of them can get really large. Um, so we talked about the, uh, the basking area. You need to have a basking area that gets completely dry. Uh, some of those floating turtle docks, they work okay, but if the floating turtle dock is, um, here's the Reeves turtle, if the floating turtle dock is a little bit underwater, that's not going to be good. They need to get out there and completely dry off. Now pretty much every turtle, in fact I think every turtle is true, needs a UVB light. And you're going to need that on the tank. And what that does is, it, it, it's, it's, it, the UVB is absorbed into the turtles, and it helps their bone growth, their shell growth, helps with their growth of all their bones and everything like that. Without a proper UVB light on the tank, 
Your turtle, when you get him home, he might live for a couple months, but his bones and shell are going to get brittle, and he will die. Uh, it's not going to be a pleasant death for him either. So you need a UVB light on the tank from the day you get your turtle. Uh, there are many types of good UVB lamps. I don't think I have an actual box to show you. Uh, I use on my tank, I think it's called the Power Sun, or uh, I think there's another one called the Sun Glow. There's a few different types of good UVB lamps. I would recommend getting an actual bulb type UVB lamp rather than a fluorescent lamp, uh, like a strip light. But the strip lights can work too. They're just not quite as powerful, so uh, you're not going to get quite as much UVB out of them. Also, your turtle tank has to have a screen top or no top. If the water level is low enough that they can't get out, you can have no top. You cannot use a glass top. Uh, glass tops will filter out the UVB. Not much UVB will get through, and again, if the turtle doesn't get enough UVB, it will be very bad for his shell and his bones. So a few great turtles uh, suggestions for you guys who might want to get a turtle that's smaller and how to tell the fe females and males apart. Uh, a few great turtles are the ones I have. You know, I did some research before getting my turtles and I found some that stay pretty small. One of the smallest turtles I have is the Texas Map. Now these guys, the males, usually get to be about 4.5 inch shell length and that's it. That means this guy could live in about a 40 gallon tank for his whole life. 4.5 inch shell length for the males. Females of course, like I said, get a little larger. Now the way that you can tell a male from a female is the females, the belly or the belly of the shell, females will protrude or stick out. Males will actually go in a little bit or be flat. Now it's hard to see, but you can kind of tell his shell kind of goes in a little bit. Not very much, but a little bit. A female's belly shell would kind of stick out a little bit. So that's how you can tell a male from a female, just from quick glance. There are a couple other ways, but the quickest and easiest way is to look at that belly shell, and if it's going inward towards the body, it's most likely a male. So the Texas map here, it's a really pretty uh, turtle. There's lots of other ones. There's the uh, <coughs> black... Uh, Geez, I'm going to mess up the name, like a black pearl map or a black knob map, which they have more black uh, up on their spikes, which this guy kind of has some too, uh, which is kind of weird. But he's a Texas map, as far as I know. That's what I bought him as. And like I said, the uh, map turtles are great, and the Texas map is one of the smallest. The males, like I said, 4.5 inches when they're adults. And they're called map turtles because they have all these lines all over their uh, body here or their face and their arms, and it kind of looks like a, uh, a road map. Another, another great turtle is the painted turtles, eastern and southern painted turtles. Uh, the males, see if we can see his shell on this one, see how it's flat, and it actually, on the, on the camera you can't really tell, but it does kind of go in a little bit in the middle here. Can't really see it when I'm holding them sideways, but if it was a female it would be sticking out a little bit. These guys can get up to about six inches, the males, and that's pretty small also. Like I said, the females get larger. They're a great turtle. Uh, they don't grow too fast, actually. Uh, my Texas map and this guy got it the same size. I've had them both for about the same amount of time. The Texas map is a lot larger now, so I'm not really sure if that's just a random occurrence. But the Texas map did grow faster. But this guy should get larger than the Texas map over time. So another great uh, turtle is the eastern painted and the southern painted. They make great pets. They're uh, very calm. All my turtles, I really don't handle that much. They're all water turtles. I have not taken these guys out of the tank for probably three months. And none of them bite me. They're all pretty calm. I mean, of course, he's moving around a little bit. And this is the best way to hold a turtle when he's out of the tank. Especially a small turtle like this. You just kind of pinch the top and the bottom of the shell. And then, you know, he can't really touch me. He's just going to kind of move around. He thinks he's swimming in the air. But uh, it's not going to hurt him. And uh, then he can't push on you. If you grab the sides, he could start pushing on you. And he might push himself out and fall to the ground, which wouldn't be good. And you've got to apply extra pressure on him so he doesn't do that. So it's best to grab him just from the top and the bottom on the middle of the shell. Another great turtles are musk turtles. 
And these guys are wonderful because they can actually live in many fish tanks. Now, like I said, you cannot have a glass top. So if your fish tank has a glass top, then it's not going to work out so good because this guy needs UVB like all the other turtles. But the musk turtles, this is a razorback musk. There's, I think, diamondback musks. There's standard stink pot musks. Uh, there's all different types of musks. But musks do not bask. Uh, you do need the UVB light, and you probably should have a basking area just in case they want to get out of the water. But like I've said, I've had this guy over a year. I've never seen him up on a basking platform. They're pretty much uh, bottom dwellers. They walk around the bottom of the tank and uh, pretty much spend their life down there. And they can live in fish tanks because of that, because they don't really have to go up and bask, so you don't need, a, don't need your water level to uh, be way low and have lots of basking platforms. That being said, they shouldn't live in a huge tank. Like anything over a 40 gallon <coughs> that's filled up all the way would start being a little too big for him because the, the water is going to be too tall for him to go up and find food or to get air. So you're not going to want to put him in a tank that's got a really high water level. Uh, 18 inches or less, sh less should be okay for a, for a juvenile to an adult. A baby should be kept in a shallower water. But musk turtles are great. This is another male. He'll get to be about same thing as the painted turtle, about six inches when he's fully grown. And uh, like I said, the females again will get larger. So if you want to stay small, get a male. And uh, the last one I have here is the Asian or Chinese. I don't know if it's Chinese or Japanese, but I know it's Asian. Uh, it's an Asian Reeves turtle. Now Reeves turtles are a little bit. Uh, less common in the United States but you can find them. Uh, I'll go over the prices of all of these actually. This guy, the Reeves turtle, was approximately $80. Uh, the Texas map was also about $80. The uh, Eastern Painted here, the little guy, he's, you can find them for about 20 bucks. They're not that expensive. And the Razorback Musk, again, he was about $80 but that's because he's a Razorback Musk. You can get standard musks for about $20. Back to the uh, Reeves turtle here. Again, the males stay smaller than the females by a large amount. The females can get over a foot big, needing a 120 gallon tank or larger. The males stay usually under seven inches, somewhere around six inches. So this one I'm not 100% sure if it's a male or female. I'm 99% sure it's a male. The uh, stomach seems pretty flat, <coughs> but uh, I am really hoping this is a male and not a female. And you can see it's pretty flat. Uh, when he was younger, I wasn't really 100% sure, but his stomach is looking pretty flat and sticking in a little bit. So 99% sure this guy's also a male. If he ever gets to be over 8 inches, I'll uh, have to get him a bigger tank, or her a bigger tank, if the case may be. Or sell him and you know give him a new home. But... Uh, Reeves turtles are great too, and uh, again, they're a basking turtle. And they're, you know, they're just a dark turtle, different uh, coloration and look than the uh, American turtles that you'll find in stores. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to give some information about turtles, talk to you a little bit. They need uh, water, most all turtles are different, so I can't really give a, exact temperatures that you need. But, you know, the water temperature for most turtles is going to be between 70 and 78 degrees. Even down a little lower, some turtles will do okay in 68 degrees. And, you know, 78 is pretty high for them. But all different turtles require different temperatures. So if you're going to get a turtle, do some research. Every single species is a little different. Now, I got lucky and all my turtles require about the same temperature, so they all do fine. I keep my tank around 75, 74 so they're all just fine in there. And uh, the basking area, I keep up around 90. And the three basking turtles I have, that's perfect for, a little higher than 90. Uh, but every turtle's different. So if you're going to get a turtle, do some research on what temperature they need. And uh, always buy a tank for their adult size. They do take, you know, a year or even two years to fully grow. But it's best to buy the tank that they're going to need when they're an adult when you get them. Then they live in the same environment focus myself, then they live in the same environment from the time they're a baby till they're an adult. The tank is all set up and ready for them. 
and you don't have to worry about buying a new tank and transporting them over later. Now turtles are pretty messy. You're going to want to put a lot of filtration on the tank. Uh, it's recommended to have at least two times the filtration. I would even recommend three times the filtration. So let's say you're going to get uh, a Texas map and they get to be you know, four, four inches or so. So you get a 40 gallon tank. I would recommend putting, you know, I said three times the amount, that would be 120 gallons, 40 times three. I would recommend putting about 120 gallons worth of filtration on their tank. Turtles can be a little messy, they eat a lot, and sometimes all the food doesn't get eaten, and the food that they do eat, you know, they poop out eventually. So you're going to want to have a filter in there that's, you know, pushing a good amount of water, and it's going to suck up all the uh, debris in the tank, so it's not going to grow, uh, you know, put too much al uh, ammonia in the tank, and etc. Have a good bi biological filter in there as well. Uh, don't just put a hang on back filter with no, no biological filtration on it. <coughs> like I said, they do produce a lot of waste, so you're going to want to have some good biological filtration in the tank to take out the ammonia and the nitrite, so their tank water is healthy for them. Um, other than that, not too much. I just wanted to go over the size and show my turtles and let you guys know some good choices. And uh, there's a few good places online. I actually bought all my turtles, yeah, every single one of them, from a Turtle Sale. It's a website. Uh, I've heard mixed reviews about Turtle Sale, but I bought all my turtles from Turtle Sale. And with the exception of my Reeves, which I'll go over in a second, all of them have been perfectly healthy. I've had them all for over a year, and they've all been perfectly healthy, and no problems, and active, eating well, no problems with them. Now my Reeves turtle, when I received him, he had no tail. He is missing his tail, and that's probably a result of, you know, when he was really little, uh, one of his siblings or someone else in his tank probably bit off his tail. Now that's not deadly, it's not going to hurt him in any way but he is missing his tail. So actually, Turtle Sale, the company I bought uh, him from, they gave me a full refund. Now, not a refund, really. They gave me a full store credit. So I got a full store credit for the price of him because he was missing his tail. So they gave me, you know, they sent me really good turtles that have lived for a year now. They're all healthy, active, and eating well. And the one small problem with this guy's tail they gave me a full full refund for them. So I can't really complain about the company at all. Company at all. They've done a great job uh, with sending me the turtles that came in packaged well and healthy. And uh, their customer service was great. So uh, that might be a good place to look to start seeing, but you know it's up to you where you buy. There's many places to buy them from. Uh, I would recommend looking online or checking out a local uh, animal or reptile expo. Pet shops, you can find turtles, but usually they're going to be larger. Uh, there are already going to be juveniles or adults. And it's kind of more fun to get them when they're small and then uh, have them grow up and you see them grow. Uh, you know, and they'll get to know you a little bit. They will come to the front of the tank and, bed and beg for food when you're throwing in pellets. And they'll follow your finger. They'll kind of get to know who you are, so it's kind of cool. Now, I don't take them out of the tank that much, but you can. Be careful, because turtles can uh, carry salmonella. And actually, I think I got it once. When I first got my turtles, I was holding them a lot more when I first got them. And one night, I was throwing up for like seven hours straight. And I think I got salmonella from one of my turtles. Now, a lot of reptiles can carry salmonella. Uh, but basically, if you hold your turtles, do not touch your nose, your eyes, or your mouth after you held them. Go to the bathroom and clean your hands uh, and then you'll be perfectly safe. But salmonella might be able to get on your hands if you touch a turtle so just wash your hands after touching them and don't touch your mouth until you clean your hands. Um, other than that they're great pets and uh, you saw I picked them all up and I really haven't held them that often. They're not usually uh, not usually all that that bitey. They really don't bite that much in, in my experience. They're pretty calm and uh, easy to handle. And uh, they make pretty good pets. So uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. And uh, I hope this video helped for anyone that's looking for a turtle. See you guys next time.